I see the uh, rainbow flag. What do you want to say with that? I think that the rainbow flag to me is a symbol of uh, welcoming and inclusion to all people. I welcome all gay and lesbian and queer people, especially the young people, the transgender people, the, the people who have long been discriminated against here. Uh, and also, to be honest, it, it, it's a bit of a if you don't feel that way, you may not want to stay tuned. There's lots of places for you, but 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 maybe this isn't one of them. <laughs> Your new single is, is quite surprisingly called Amsterdam. Is that a metaphor? I really wanted to write about the city of Amsterdam. Yeah. I love Amsterdam. I've spent a lot of time in the Netherlands. Uh, my first record deal anywhere in the world was on a Dutch label called Munich Records. And I have a long history of touring in the Netherlands and, and uh, uh, I uh, have always been in love with Amsterdam. got back on the road. I was able to bring Jamie to Amsterdam and stay in the hotel that I've been staying in for years in Rembrandt Square uh, and walk the city and go to restaurants. We felt free, you know. Uh, the places that, that are open to people like me who I where I feel safe and welcome. And I got to fall in love with the city again through Jamie's eyes and through uh, getting released from the pandemic for a little while and dropped off right where I wanted to be. So the joy of that song is very real. I'm so glad to be back here Walking these old streets with you Wide awake, a dream come true All right. I think the power of song is to connect with people's hearts. It's not mind to mind, it's heart to heart. That's, that's, the, that's the power of song. And you can probably trace through my work, the, the artist, me, reaching for that, wanting to belong and be connected. Amsterdam tonight. One of the reasons of the new album is not so happy because you lost a lot of friends, as I read. Yeah. Like David Olney. David we were playing a festival in Florida and David had a heart attack on stage and and he passed away in January and that and then right after that the pandemic started. John Prine got COVID and John died and and I, I've lost a lot of friends in the pandemic and, and most recently Nancy Griffith who was a friend of mine and a real musical hero of mine uh, died and, and it's just been a, a a lot of loss, a lot of grief and yet, I have Jamie and I have this person in my life that, you know, who holds me when I cry. I've got, I've got love. <laughs> and so I think that's the nature of this record is, is both love and loss. At the bottom of my tears On the backside of my face at the center of the pain I hear my voice call out your name Days go by, nothing works I can't believe how much this hurts I think that a lot of I what I carried you. behind me like a, like a train with so many cars I've let go of a lot of those cars. Um, you know, I, I, I turned 60 March 11th, uh, and I feel a lightness. Um, I mean, I'm not happy to be getting old, but I'm happy to be 
given this opportunity <laughs> to feel lighter as I age. I mean, there's the, you know, the terror of death and the, the dread of aging because of what it does to the body. But my soul and my heart are lighter than they've ever been. As I hold on to your love Like those lights from up above I have drifted out so far